I've heard talk of the giant solar fields in sun-drenched Texas that are capable of generating energy for millions of people. But I have to admit, I'm a little skeptical when it comes to what we can achieve in dull and dreary Ireland when it comes to using the sun as an energy source. I've travelled to Wexford to meet Tom Foley of Solar Electric and find out what's possible here in Ireland. So look, we're in Ireland. It's kind of got a reputation for being dull and dreary as we can see yeah. today. Yeah. Surely we can't get enough energy from that sun to yeah. fuel these. We absolutely can and we've had them um, installed now for a number of years in Ireland and they work really, really well. Today is probably one of the worst days you could get for PV, but even today these panels are working here as well. OK, so we don't need to be able to be getting a suntan. You're saying no, just light. Absolutely. Days like today where it's cloudy, we even see from ourselves in maybe when it's minus three, minus four degrees and you have two coats on you in the middle of winter, but it's a nice bright day, you can generate plenty of electricity to use in your house, your home, your business. And then speaking of expense, is, is, is this not a very expensive technology to put in your house? It was. A standard household might have cost you €20,000 to install five years ago. We're installing household systems for €8,000, €10,000 now. So they've halved in price in that five-year period. So you're saying eight, ten thousand euros. Does it start to pay itself back after a certain amount of time? Absolutely. Our typical paybacks now are probably in the eight to ten-year uh, bracket. We'd like to see that to be a four-year payback, and subsidies will help us to get to that point. And can you tell me a little bit about the idea of the tariffs? Yeah, the feed-in tariff, the way they were developed across other territories in Europe was that you get paid to generate electricity. So when you're producing power in your home and you're sending clean, green electricity out to the grid, for other people to use while you're not using it. At Solar Electric, they use their solar power for heat, light and hot water, and also to charge their electric cars. But for many, the question is, what will we do with our solar power when we're producing it, but we're not at home to use it? One answer is to sell it back to the grid. And that's why we need feed-in tariffs. It feels particularly important when Tom shows me what the panels can generate, even in winter. Yeah, Lara, this is our web-based monitoring system which monitors the production of the solar electric panels for our clients around the country. At least 50% of our clients would have web-based monitoring. And so we can see then here, so it's still working in winter and it's working yeah. very well. Yeah, and you can see here the total here, Lara, since it was um, commissioned in 2013, has produced a staggering 31,902 units of electricity, which is a phenomenal amount of electricity when you think about it and by what, using this power. What does? 31,900 kilowatt hours mean? The normal household will use about 14 to 16 units of electricity or kilowatt hours per day. So if you look at that there, it's easy. It, that would power six houses. Driving in Tom's solar charged car, we travelled to nearby O'Shea's farm to meet Tommy O'Shea. He installed 270,000 euro worth of solar panels to help power the refrigeration needs of his potato farm. So, Tommy, tell me a bit about what you did. I, I can see the scaffolding and everything up here still. Yeah, well, there's up to a 1,000 individual solar panels on the roof, and that will give us an installed capacity of about 210,000 kilowatt hours per year, which is probably around 30,000 um, euros worth of electricity. The project will take maybe seven, eight years to pay for itself, and we're hoping in the longer term then that we'll have free electricity for the sun for maybe from year 10 to 20 or 25. So obviously it's not the, the total energy solution for the country, but certainly as a way of reducing your overall carbon footprint, it's a very inobtrusive way of producing re renewable energy. Seeing what I've seen today, I'm blown away by the potential of solar. But what we have in Ireland is nothing compared to the solar farms they have in the UK and elsewhere, where sunlight provides low-cost energy to the grid. There clearly needs to be action at policy level to incentivise wider use of solar and provide the feed-in tariffs that will make it mainstream.